Good morning again, everybody. Here we are. We Tuesday morning. We get a chance to get in God's Word and get our dose of it and get our day started off right. This morning, I want to look at a passage over in the Gospel of Matthew. Um, this is going to be dealing when it begins to call some of the disciples, and, and a great point um, is made and really should give us uh, uh, pause and stop and think about uh, what is going on here. In Matthew, the fourth chapter, and in verse 18, it says, And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Then he said to them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. They immediately left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother. In the boat was Zebedee, their father, mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left the, the boat and their father and followed him. What a great um, uh, passage that we have here and, and to stop and cause each of us to stop and think. You know, uh, in Matthew, the 11th chapter, verses 28 through 30, Jesus said, come to me. Je what, what Jesus wants is wants us to follow him. And here he was, he's walking by the sea this day. He calls Peter and Andrew and James and John um, at two different occasions. And, and, and he says, follow me. He didn't say... <laughs> Uh, what you're going to do, you know, um, and he says, uh, well, verse 19 says, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. Well, they didn't understand what the world was that talking about. But in it, here they are, they're on the john, they're mending their nets, and this guy comes up and says, hey, follow me and I'll have you become fishers of men. But what did they do? They dropped their nets. Goes to James and John, doing the same thing. They're in the boat, helping their, helping their daddy out. He says, follow me. Well, they, they, they left. Their nets, they left the boats, uh, they left their occupations, they left their dad standing there, and they went to follow Jesus. And here's the, the, here's the point, I think, for you and I for to stop and consider. If Jesus wants us to stop what we're doing and follow him, why don't we? What could possibly be more valuable, more important, more critical in this life than following Jesus? What is there in this life that we are not willing to let go of and walk away from to follow Jesus? Jesus has got to be so much better than anything uh, or anyone that this uh, world has, has to offer for us. So what a profound thought when we stop and we think about this. You know, all too often will say, oh yes, I love Jesus and you know, I'm, going, I'm following him, I'm, I'm, I'm a believer, never opened the Bible. Never open, never darken the doorway of a church building. You know, uh, never involved um, in, in any spiritual um, activities or, or anything like that. Oh yes, but I'm a believer. You know, we would have been those that would have just stayed in the boat. We just said, "Hey, come follow me." Nah, I'm gonna stay right here. I, I like what I got going on. I believe in you, though. More power to you, Jesus. But I'm gonna stay right here. That's really kind of what things how this boils down to it. And so what made the difference uh, with uh, Peter and Andrew, James and John is that they left and they followed Jesus. What about us? What about us? If we say we follow Jesus, are we really following Jesus? If we say we follow Jesus, why are we not following Jesus? Why are we not uh, doing the things and living the life that he would that he requires of us to do But yet we continue to do You know what we want to do we continue to live the life that we want to live and So here here's the thing is that if we say that we believe him then we need to follow him You know think about it if Jesus if you were in one of those boats that day and Jesus come by and said hey follow me and um uh, If Jesus would have said, come and follow me, um, what, what would you have done? Would you have stayed in the boat or would you have got out and followed him? So here's the thing today. Are you staying in the boat or are you going to leave the boat, leave the nets, leave whoever it is that you need to 
and follow Jesus. There's your dose of God's word today. Pretty challenging question, isn't it? But you know, when we get down, we talk about, look at these things, you know, there, it, it, sometimes it strikes too close to home and that's okay. That, that is a good thing. It gets our wheels turning and maybe it realigns our, our faith and our conviction and our beliefs to get back in line with those things of Christ. But there's your dose of God's word today. If you're in the boat, get out of the boat and start to follow him. And so there it is. I hope it'll do you some good. And Lord willing, tomorrow we'll get back together and get another dose of God's word and get our day started off right. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you then.